Matt for the first time on Saturday night? Pretty good, you know. I had a little bit of nerves, but that's expected, you know. And you have nerves almost every match, but it was fun to get out there, you know, compete the first time, so it's good. I know when we talked with, with Dustin, he talked about, uh, you know, that's been a dream of you guys, you know, growing up a total of, of both of you wrestling as starters here at Oklahoma mm -hmm. State. What was that moment like for the, the both of you when you were both finally there in the starting lineup? I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, in the moment, like, I really probably didn't think about it. I just focused on my match. But, I mean, looking back at it now, it's really cool, you know. We grew up together. We went to high school together. So, um, it was a really awesome moment, I mean, looking back. But hopefully have a lot more memories going forward. Obviously a, a, a big task to, to follow up your first one with uh, a, an Olympic medalist, a national champion. What's the mindset going up against one of the world's greatest? Um, really, nothing's going to change. You know, I'm just going to go out there and wrestle as hard as I can, and um, I'm going to compete. You know, I'm not going to back down. I mean, I know he's good, but I'm good too, so we're going to go out there and see how it goes. I know Coach mentioned the fact that, you know, that you're, you're obviously your dad uh, steeped in, in wrestling history as well. The competition, that, that's the big thing when it comes to your family. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, your sister is going to be coming up here as well, mm -hmm. uh, very athletic team. How, how is that mindset instilled in you going into this match, knowing that, you know, yeah, I'm going up against the greatest, but, you know, I, I've, I've been doing that uh, for quite a while. Yeah, I mean, I honestly, I mean, my mindset pretty much stays the same. I mean, obviously, I'm, I can't, it's obviously a little different, you know, I'm going against <laughs> Olympic champ, but it's really, I'm just going to go out there and wrestle, you know, I, I've competed my whole life, I've wrestled in tons of wrestling matches, so it's really just another match. I mean, it it's really is. Just getting ready for NCAs, you know. That's what this season is what season's about, you know. But every match matters. But just go out there and give your best effort and wrestle as hard as you can. We've talked with John and some others about kind of your weight gain. Mm -hmm. um, how much are you weighing now, and how much do you want to be at? Um, I weigh like anywhere from like 225 to 230, so it varies a little bit with practice and stuff. But um, um, I mean, next year I bet I probably am 240, 245 next year, and that's what I would like to stay at, you know. That way I can move and stuff. Any bigger, I don't think I'll be able to move as well. So um, I'm, I'm sure I'll be able to next off season, you know, just lift. And right now it's kind of hard wrestling. I'm not able to lift as much. So um, hopefully by like March and stuff, I keep my weight around 230. Maybe if I can get it up around there, you know, that's where I want to be at the NCAAs and stuff. What was that process like come, uh, making the decision to, to move up to heavyweight? Um, well, so I, I, Figured I was going to do it last year at the um, after season, you know, because I was a little big to make 84, because either 84 or heavyweight, and um, it, I wasn't going to be able to hold 84 my whole career, and so um, we kind of discussed it, and then I wrestled 202 in the summer, or maybe at the end of the year, and then as soon as I got done with that tournament, I mean, I was lifting four days a week, just eating as much as I could, you know, like four or five, six meals a day, protein shakes. So it was um, it was really hard at first. Um, just trying to like eat so much and then like you're just full all the time you know so you gotta like kind of force yourself but I mean it's better than cutting weight so how big has, has Gary been at helping you get a lot get you know he's the best you know he puts um the strength conditioning program together and uh, he puts he put us on a four day a lot of us left on four days this summer it helps us get a lot stronger um, it's hard to do the four days you're seat wrestling because it's hard on your bodies but um it's really good. He's he's been a key part in all this. I mean, without him, I wouldn't be this big, probably. So, when you're talking about eating four, five, six meals a day, but uh, uh, what are you eating? Like steaks? Or are you eating high protein? Or? Yeah, I, I try to say high protein, okay. like um, just a lot of like like um, ground beef, steak, right. chicken, and then carbs. You know, potatoes, rice. So you know, it's a lot of times. I mean, during the summer, I was eating whatever I could. You know, so like. It really didn't matter. Anything I could eat, I was eating, you know. Right. So, protein shakes. I mean, I drink probably like three protein shakes a day. Oh, wow. So. So it's, it's funny you discuss that because, I, I, you know, I've talked with Austin Harris about that, Derek White about that. You know, the, that's something that has become kind of popular for here at Oklahoma State is the guy coming in and working up to heavyweight. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what, you know, when you see those guys who've, shown success doing that how much easier did that make the decision for you as well it did make it a lot easier because heavyweight is transitioning there's not as many guys at the 285 it's there's a lot more guys at the 230 to 250 range you know rather than like it used to be 285 you know a lot, everybody's 285 so it did make it a lot easier because and there's been a lot of people that have success like last year you know just 
different guys, you know, looking around the nation and seeing different guys around my weight having success. So that was, I mean, it was a, it was a, not too hard of a decision. Well, obviously not because I'm not going 97. So but last year, being AJ's backup, uh, being AJ's backup, being AJ's backup, uh, how have you seen his kind of work ethic? Uh, you know, his work ethic influence you in, in gaining all this weight in terms of weightlifting as well. Well, I mean, AJ's a really hard worker, you know, and I think, uh, I mean, he, I think more than anything I picked up from AJ is just his mindset, you know, he, he knows he's not going to lose, you know, he puts in the work, like everybody puts in the work, but a lot of people are like, they're still like, he knows he puts in the work, so he's going to go out there and show, you know, he's not going to hold anything back. A lot of people hold back, so I think that's a big thing I can take from him, just not holding back, you know, I put in the work, I do everything right. So just when, when it's time to step on the mat, go out there and compete as hard as I can because I do the right things. So I think that's the biggest thing I picked up from him because, I mean, he's, he's really good. He's a really smart wrestler, too. Yeah, no, no. Go ahead. Look, is that something that uh, you're trying to carry with you into this next match is that mindset? And, like, uh, what, what's the message that you want to send in this match? I mean, I, I mean I've, I've been, my mindset, I'm, he stays the same pretty much every match, you know. I'm obviously wrestling a really good opponent next, but it doesn't change whether I'm wrestling somebody that's not very good. I mean, I expect to go out there and win, so um, I'm just going to go out there and wrestle as hard as I can. So that's all you can ask. I know you were, I know you were here last year. How have you seen kind of Hone and G Feller kind of buy into the role at, at starters? I know you guys are ranking tonight, so those, those, I mean, they're not for sure. But how have you seen them kind of, you know, you know, kind of they're seniors and, and kind of, you know, act like starters rather than backups like they were years yeah. before. I mean, they both, I mean, they're both were pretty dedicated, but you can tell they've both picked up an additional dedication this year, you know, um, being there last year, you know, they're both trying to go out there and get all American status, you know, so they're both putting in the work and they both, I mean, G didn't wrestle that good last weekend, but um, he's a lot better than what he showed last weekend, so.